Greetings to another video. Today we're going to talk all about commuting. I know a lot of you out there are new to cycling and you're looking to commute to work. So I thought I would just share a couple of things that I've learned over the years, as always, uh, to try and help the commute um, be a little bit more straightforward, a little bit easier, and maybe answer some questions that you're going to have about it. So many benefits to commuting, just so, so many. For me personally, it helped build my base fitness because it was when I was brand new to cycling, so it really helped build those miles and stuff in my legs. So that was totally invaluable. Um, it also was the period, I guess, in my cycling journey that I lost the most, amount, most amount of weight um, just from doing that commute. I think because I knew I was going to be doing it every day, it was just really consistent. And yeah, that's a massive bonus. As well as those things, you're going to save a lot of time. Like it used to be quicker for me to get to Manchester if I cycled in rather than going in the car. And also you're gonna save money. You're gonna save petrol money, you're gonna save like uh, public transport money. It's just the best way to travel. So let's get into some of the tips. So you wanna look at the route that you're taking. The route that you actually ride might be different to the one that you were driving. I know for me it was um, because I wanted to get off some of the main roads. Um, and so by doing that, you're not going to be having to like, weave in and out of traffic and you're going to be quicker by avoiding those busier roads. Uh, another thing that you could do is, I mean, I don't really like these, uh, but you could go on canals and towpaths. Sometimes it can be quicker to go that way. I personally just prefer picking um, just a different route than the main cars and the main kind of stretch into town, I guess. What I would recommend with the route though is that you practice it you might not you might know that roads really well to drive on but go and ride it because it will feel different and you can get an idea of how long it's going to take you to get there because you don't want to be on your first day commuting in being like 20 minutes late and just being flustered you want to give yourself plenty of time so go and do like a recce of that route um like the day before or the week before just so you know exactly how long it's going to take you well approximately anyway the next thing is how are you going to carry all your stuff to work? So the first option is a backpack. It's very simple. Most people have them um, and they're cheap, but there are a couple of cons to having a backpack. One being you get a really sweaty back, proper sweaty. It's not that comfortable. And especially if you've got loads of heavy stuff in there, if you've not got a lot to take, then backpacks are brilliant. Um, because also you don't have to kind of like faff around taking anything off your bike. You can just kind of go straight into work once you've got your bike up and all your stuff's in your backpack. So yeah, th there are a few pros and cons. I guess that's the, the first easiest, simplest option. Second one is a seat pack or like, um, yeah, a saddle bag, a big saddle bag. Um, you can get them that are huge. You can fit all sorts of stuff in them. Um, and they just basically attach by like just clipping under your um, saddle and onto your seat post. So they are really quick to get on and off. And it means then a lot of the weight that you're carrying is on the bike, not on your back, which just makes it feel a lot more comfortable when you're riding to and from work. Um, you can, yeah, like I said, there's so many different brands. I know when I first started riding, there weren't many out. And the one I bought was, I think it was about 130 quid. You can get them a lot cheaper than that. But the one that I got, it's made by revelate designs and it's i think it's like 14 liters and it's still like brand new and i trash that like every day going to and from work in like all weathers so yeah have a look at different seat bags that you can get third option i guess is the most traditional is the pannier rack so you probably know what pannier racks are it's basically just like a metal structure that fits onto your bike that will let you then fit panniers onto them so panniers are just basically like big bags with like a piece of plastic on the back that like clip on so they are really secure um generally they're always waterproof and if you've got like something like a laptop they're going to be the best thing i think to carry that in because i mean unless you want to put it on your back but i just think when it's in panny racks it's just the weight is off your back um, again, some of the pros of them, again, like is that, that you can take big stuff like um, like a laptop. And the other pro is that they're because they're so big, you can kind of see what, what you've got in there. Whereas the saddle bag, you kind of have to stuff everything in like a, a roll. So you can't really see what you've got in there. Um, I guess the con of having a pannier rack though, is it's attached to your bike. Obviously the bags come off, but the actual metal part is fixed onto your bike with screws. So 
if you've only got one bike and you do loads of club runs at the weekend, you're gonna have to take that thing on and off. Um, however, Tailfin, which are um, a really good company that I've had stuff from them before, really, really good. They do actually like a clip on and a clip off pannier um, rack, which is really, I'll leave a link to it below. I'm not sponsored or anything, but they, they do just have really nice, um, it is expensive, I'll warn you, it is expensive, but it is really good. That's the one that you've seen in the video now. My friend um, has got that one, the pannier version, and it is really good. Another thing I would suggest is reducing the amount of stuff that you actually physically have to carry in and out every day. So for example, I would, at the start of the week, take a load of like clean clothes and leave them in my drawer just so that I would have like fresh clothes to wear every day. Um, and I would also have like a pair of shoes or a pair of trainers or something that I would just leave at work because they're just so bulky. You just don't want to be having to take them to and from work every day. Um, and then food wise, I would take like a big like bag of oats, um, like some fruit and stuff and then just leave it in my drawer at work and then just kind of eat that throughout the week rather than rather than having to take like a bowl every every morning of like a proportioned amount I would just leave it all at work I had like a little little mini stash of stuff in my drawers at work so just try and minimize the amount of stuff you've got to carry and think about because if you get there and you've got your breakfast whereas if your breakfast is already there like you're all good you are all good I'd, I'd also have like my own bowl my own mug my own fork that was just like my work my work cutlery in my work bowl so that's another option if you fancy doing that as well let's talk about sweating it's inevitable we're going to be riding our bike we are going to be sweating but what do you do if you don't have a shower at your workplace um, all the places that I've ever commuted to have never had a shower, so I've never actually had a shower before work after commuting. You might think that's gross, but I got a few little tips for you. So the first one is the simplest. It's just set off a little bit earlier so that you're not absolutely thrashing it to work, so you're not sweating as much. Very simple, but very effective. <laughs> um, but if you do want to have like a wash, the other option that you could do is go and have a quick look um, around the area where you work and see if there is like a gym or a swimming pool or a leisure center or something that you can sign up to and just go and use their facilities just to shower and get ready in the morning i've done that before and that works really well if you don't have any of those options then you do what i did for the most of this and it's just um just taking a towel taking some shower gel and just washing in the sink so <laughs> i used to do this um Luckily, the place where I used to do it, there was, um, it was like an individual, like, toilet place that you could actually lock. So I wasn't just like, in like a public toilet, just like in my undies, just washing under my arms and stuff. It was like an individual one and it wouldn't take me that long, but that is not an option for you. I keep saying that's an option for you, all options for you, but that is something that you could do as well. Um, and then another thing that I used to do was, this might seem gross to you, but I liked commuting and it got me really fit and I lost a lot of weight. Was um, obviously if you sweat and you've got long hair, so um, if you've got long hair out there, I just used to stick my head under the hand dryer and just blow dry my hair. So that's another option for you. Um, yeah, so that's a couple of different things that you can do. I think some people though, just have the excuse, well, I can't do this and I ain't got a shower and I can't do that. If you want to commute to work and you want to get fit and you want to lose weight and you want to save money, you will find a way around all of these problems. Like you will just want, because I did, like I wasn't fit enough to do it. I didn't have shower, there wasn't a shower there. I was like, how am I going to get food like at work? And I found, found solutions to it. So if you really want to do it, you will find a way. If you live too close to work, I mean, that's not really a problem. Just extend it and just do a longer route in the morning if you want to. But I understand if you do live too far away. So when I first started, my commute was 13 miles, so 20k each way. Um, I'd never really cycled, so that was a big deal for me to do that. So all I did was just start off doing it once a week, and then I did it twice a week, and then I built up to doing it three times a week. So just don't feel like you've got to do it every single day just do it once a week if you want you will get used to it and when you feel the benefits of it so like not sitting in traffic saving money feeling fitter feeling like mentally great because you've just done a workout on you like before you even started work you will want to do it more so do that or you could either if you live like say 50 60k away 
Um, just ride to the train station, ride halfway, go to the train station and then get the train part of the way. I know one of my friends, he lived, I think he maybe worked, I think it was something like 80 or 100K um, from where he lived. And he would just do like once a week or once every couple of weeks, just do a ride either one way or back. So we'd just like um, cycle there and then just get the train home. So we were still getting a commute in, um, but just doing it once a week. So don't feel like it's gotta be all or nothing. It doesn't. Just build up and just do what you can. So you know what's coming now if you've been watching this video series. I have an ebook, it's called Cycling Made Simple. It's basically everything you would ever need to know if you have like started out cycling. There is a big section in there about commuting and other tips and stuff in there as well. So I am giving away a copy every single day of this 10 day video series. So if you want to win a copy, just leave a lovely, nice, positive comment in the, in the comment section and I'll be picking one winner every single day. So yeah i hope you found that helpful if you've got any other tips leave them in the comments and just want to add on to this video thank you so much for all the lovely just support you've been giving each other i've, I've been reading every single comment even though i might not have replied I, I try and reply to everyone um honestly it's so nice to see people just you lot just being so nice to each other and giving tips and just being supportive so just love seeing it absolutely love it so thank you so much and yeah i'll see you tomorrow for another video